What place did you finish amongst the women? Fifth. Sarah May Berman, three-time Boston Marathon women's champion, 1969, 70, and 71. But she wouldn't get this medal until several decades later. You see, up until 1972, women could only run unofficially. You just ran at the same time yes, the race yes. was happening. And apparently, the public thought it was hilarious. <laughs> just look at some of the clippings Sarah May saved from those days. Good heavens, man, a woman in the Boston Marathon? Hub bride, first gal to run marathon. Or how about this one? Housewife, second in marathon. So how did she get into the sport at a time when long distance running was discouraged for women? It was with some encouragement from her husband. Our first two children were born 15 months apart, which is a little close. And uh, he looked at me one day and he said, are you happy with the shape you're in? And of course I wasn't. And he said, let's go try running. I thought it was really for her benefit. It was the late 50s, early 60s, when Sarah May got her start, running around the old track here at MIT with her husband, Larry. Their kids playing over in the dirt while mom and dad ran. She surprised herself when she got up to two miles. She never thought she'd be doing 26.2. She started small, though, with a five-mile road race in Marlboro. She recalls being one of very few, possibly the only woman that day. And the guys were terrific. Hey, you're doing well. Keep it up. Nice going. There wasn't a nasty word among them. And I learned over several years that long-distance runners appreciate each other because they know you can't cover the distance if you haven't done the training. Eventually, Boston. Sarah May knew she was joining an elite group of women. She's even kept this poster board with their names and times. Hers notably the fastest in 69, 70, and 71. But when 1972 came around and women were finally allowed to compete officially, Sarah May faced an uphill battle tougher than Heartbreak Hill. I had the flu. That, fact, I'm amazed you even did the race with the flu. Well, I think my temperature was only 99. Only. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't not run. You know, we had hoped and, and, and wished and, and pleaded for so long. Fast forward to 1996. Her first place wins were recognized ahead of the 100th running of the Boston Marathon. And she got the medal she earned so many years earlier. Today, she and Larry still live in the same Cambridge home they purchased after getting married in 1955. But they've traded in running for cross-country and roller skiing, along with orienteering. And at 87 and 89 years old, the Bermans still exercise 70 minutes a day, seven days a week. And yes, they do everything together. Larry said to me, as an encouragement to, for me to start running, was you could be a pioneer. And I didn't really understand what that meant. Now when I see young women running through the streets, young women, older women, not worried about people poking fun at them or looking at them crazy or something like that, now I understand that some people had to start it off.